Hey everybody, uh, I've seen a few questions from the class about the binary search tree lab, uh, especially revolving around the remove function, and I was finally able to get mine to work, so I thought I would just share what I did uh, in hopes that it can help some others finish the lab up. Uh, it's not the only way to do it, um, but it seem, seemed to work okay for me and seemed to be fairly clean-ish. Um, and so, and I'm going to be working off a specific example uh, from the lab, which is in file 4, line 72, where you remove 5. Uh, the reason being is this is the first time where you actually remove two children. And this is what the tree actually looks like in this case. It's got a 5, its left child is 1, and right is 6. Because uh, that seems to be the most, the trickiest um, scenario that you have to handle. So going to my code, okay, I created, got the remove function. Uh, first, first several lines are pretty simple. If I don't find it, I'm just going to return false. Um, else I'm going to go through my tree, left or right, depending on the value of the data. And then here's where we're going to run into our cases that we have to handle. Uh, where we find the node. Okay, so I've gone through my tree, I found five, and essentially it comes down to I've got three scenarios that I thought I would really need to handle. Uh, the first scenario is this one, okay? You got one child and it's the right child, so left equals null. And the second scenario is the opposite, where it's got a left child, but the right equals null, okay? So the first thing I did is to create this temporary pointer Okay, and I point it to my local root, local root being five at this point, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is if it's if left is null, I'm going to set the local root equal to local root right, okay? Um, and then I'm going to delete the old root. And since I did keep a counter, I'm going to decrement my count. Um, now, this next case is exactly the same, but just in reverse. So if the right one is null, I'm just going to set it equal to the left. Um, now, you'll notice I didn't have, I didn't explicitly um, check for no children because this check right here accounts for that. So if my local root left is null, so five left child is null, I'm just gonna set it automatically to its right child. Now, if that happens to be null, that's fine. It really doesn't matter. It could be a node or null. I just didn't necessarily see a need to explicitly check for no children. Okay, so that handles the first two. And then the third case is what we're gonna run into in this line 72, remove five, where it actually has two children and it looks like this, okay? So we've got a five here. We have a one here, and I'll get to this in a second, but we've got the two, there's a two right there. So what I did is broke it up into its own little function. Now you probably could just use a while loop if you wanted. Um, I've seen that and that works great. Uh, for me, it was a little bit simpler to uh, separate my code and kind of understand what's going on by doing a separate function. So I created this function called replace, and it takes in the old root, in this case five, and the local root, and still in this case, five left node. And the reason you wanna do that is to replace a node with two children, you want to go get the number that's the biggest on its left subtree, okay? So we're gonna pass it five and one, and then we're actually gonna go all the way right until we hit a node where its right is null, okay? So that's what I did here. So if local right is not equal null, just keep going until you find one that is, All right? Then the next step I took was actually just replacing the data. So I just am gonna swap data um, between this node and this node here. So my tree will actually look like this, two, one, two, okay? So I won't actually be deleting this node I'm gonna swap data so my tree still stays intact with the left and right in place. And then I'm gonna call my remove function to go down and get this node with the value of two. And how I did that is I just called remove old root left, okay? So that would be in this case one. And I'm gonna 
Go look for, oops, go look for, ah, uh, the data of the local root, which is actually going to be two, okay? So that's gonna come back up here and just go through my remove function starting here instead of starting at my root. Um, hopefully that helps some people. Uh, it's, again, it's not the only way to do it. It, it works pretty well for me. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I can hopefully answer them. Good luck.